Hey, what's going on, everybody? It is Brian again, and we are here with another week that uh, I'm dropping multiple videos in the same week, but we had another exciting release this week, and I wanted to go ahead and review that. So if you've not been keeping up, you know that Old Forester was talking about releasing single barrel, barrel strength versions of their rye. And they have been doing this with the barrel strength bourbon. A lot of people have been doing picks of this and you've seen it gone, going around. Uh, and now it's time for the rye. So they released these at the distillery yesterday. And uh, I was excited to get my hands on this. So uh, one of the folks in the Louisville community, thank you so much, was uh, kind enough to give me a sample to put alongside with this video to give to you all today. Now, I feel like it needs to be said, these are single barrels. They're gonna vary in proof, they're gonna vary in flavor. There were 75 barrels for the calendar year that they're gonna have for US release. And the first wave of those is about 38 barrels, okay? And they're not gonna be through the single barrel program in terms of like doing picks. Uh, they're just gonna start rolling out. And so they released uh, a mixture of some proofs at the distillery. And the one that we are talking about today comes in at 128.2 proof. It's from Warehouse G, it's from Floor 3. Uh, and once we get done tasting this too, I'm gonna do just a quick little taste. I've got a little taste left of one of the Jack Daniels Barrel Proof Rise. And I wanted to get a little taste of that because I was really excited about that release recently as well. And I think they may have some similarities in profile. Maybe not, single barrel, hard to tell. Without any more ado, let's go ahead and get into the nose of this. Man, it's got some really good color to it. I decided not to taste it alongside of the 100 proof because it's so uh, different in proof. But man, this barrel specifically on the nose right away, you are getting cinnamon apples. It's almost like, like a, a baked apple pie, like a Dutch apple pie with how um, fruity but, but sweet and kind of caramely and stewed that it is. Like with that kind of gooey like you, you're like you if you have the apple pie and there's like a, a nice cross threading or whatever on top right but there's little bits of like the just gooey apple and cinnamon mixture out and you just go ahead and take a spoonful of that that's exactly what the nose smells like it's that apple pie filling it's got salted caramel icing in there which you know that i love let's see if you can see the legs on this real quick can you see how slow those are to move down? Uh, it's got vanilla. It's got a uh, a lemon meringue note too. So you know, more decadent, more like sweet and um, and desserty. But there is something that's kind of like lemon meringue as well. There's some baking spices in there, and. It's got some charred wood for sure as well, which uh, I'm excited to, to get. I feel like it's not as intense maybe as um, some of the Old Forester bourbons, but you notice some uh, charred wood and then you notice some warm leather. So there, there's a bit of everything on here. This is a really inviting, really rich, really um, uh, filling aroma that you get in the, in the profile. Let's go ahead and dive into the taste. The palate is super coating, very viscous. It does come with some heat. Now this bottle was opened yesterday, so maybe a little of that heat will dissipate. But it's so rich. It comes with barrel char. It comes with black pepper, baking spice. It's counterbalanced with like um with like a lemon zest. There's something that definitely reminds me of like drinking a Sazerac cocktail. If you're familiar with the Sazerac cocktail, you'll know that contrary to like maybe some orange that you'll get in some other like old fashions or other bourbon cocktails, that generally that's done with a, a lemon uh, zest and like a, a lemon peel in there. So you definitely get something that's like that. It's not even candied lemon really, but it is like a fresh zest of lemon. There's that that gives brightness to this rich pour. And then you have like a, like a, there's something to the finish that's slightly smoky, like a, like a cherry wood smoke. Like you use a smoking gun or something like that and you have smoked cherry wood. 
and um, and then some vanilla as well. The long linger, I feel like, while you might be able to say like this charred oak comes off, as we've mentioned in some other reviews, like slightly medicinal with cherry. I don't know that that's what it is though. Uh, in this pour, I do think it's kind of coming off as like a lemon curd, lemon zest, and it's that brightness that comes in with these charred woods, these baking spices, the black pepper, some of that vanilla, that just makes it such a rich, big pour. Now from the nose, I would have thought maybe it'd be a little bit fruitier, a little bit sweeter. And there's some sweetness to the front of this. Um, but what I will tell you too, this is a pour that um, if we add a little bit of water, two just like one or two drops again i did this recently in a video uh, for the dickel 15 i'm gonna do it again here usually one or two drops i put in there does not take away from the nose caramely rich thick and then the palate still viscous viscous it tames these kind of like bitey rye slightly spearminty type notes it rolls them off a little bit and just makes it very rich and very sweet still with like the charred wood um and like warm leather uh notes in the finish that's really enjoyable let's go over here just real quick to the sip that i got of a jack daniels on the nose thinner immediately but it does have a, a good amount of like some kind of gooey caramels as well a little musty a little funky um but a little thinner let's go ahead and taste A lot of citrus and a lot of vanilla. This one comes off more orangey, um, vanilla-y, chewy, really enjoyable as well. Um, honestly, maybe a little silkier, maybe a little bit um, more balanced or a little rolled off going back over here to the Old Forester. Oh man, that's still really good. It's so rich, it's so saturated that I think adding a little bit of water to tame some of the a kind of sharp rye minty bite that you might get is going to be where this pour is at. And again, that's specific to this barrel. Other barrels might differ. I'll be curious to hear what you all think as you all open up ones that you find in the wild. If you find this, let me know what you think about it. Uh, let me know if you've tried the 100 proof, what you think about that as a standard rye. Great price point, uh, like $24 for, uh, for the standard rye. But um, getting into this barrel strength and the price point about $80, big jump on price but completely different product in terms of flavor. I would probably put it on par with the Jack Daniels Barrel Proof Rye's. Um, I don't know if those are or are not hard to find in your area. I did not see a lot of the Jack Daniels in my area. Um, so these Old Foresters would be nice if we can come across those. Um, I would definitely put this as a contender with a lot of other rye's. If you wanna hear me talk about it against some other rye's, let me know. You know people asked if I would do it against Michter's Barrel Strength. Um, and I just didn't have that uh, available to be able to put against that. Um, if there's anything else you want me to, to, to try it up against, let me know. I'd love to hear what you have to think in the comments. Feel free to subscribe to the channel, a like, set up the alerts. Let me know uh, when you're checking out the videos. I'd love to dialogue with you all. Uh, you can feel free to listen to the Entry Proof Podcast if you want more in-depth or just other conversation. That's a podcast that I do with Drew P. Whiskey. He is also here on YouTube. And we're generally over on his stream on Thursday nights going live. And uh, we have a lot of fun over there. You can also support us on Patreon. We're at patreon.com slash entryproofpodcast. Thanks for joining me tonight, guys. We'll see you all later.